Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at creating images of people using a tool called Humans. Now you can visit humans.com to have a look and see the images that you can create. All of these people are going to be faced sideways on, but there are a lot of applications for these. And what we're going to see is how we can actually create these on the web. So you can come and have a look at humans.com to see what the variety of applications are. And then you'll go to this GitHub site. Now I'm going to give you the link in the description below. Here you've got a starter image and you've got a whole heap of elements that you can use to replace elements in the person. And you can also add things like trees. So if we want to add this plant, we'll just click on the plant and everything appears up here in the top corner. So we can just move it down into position. It's also possible to move it behind the person by clicking move to back. Now, if it doesn't go to the back, you might find you get more value by moving other things to the front. And if you move a bottom to the front, you might have to move the jacket also to the front so that you just keep the layering consistent. Now, if you want to replace things like a set of legs, there are a few keywords that you can use to search these. So the background elements are called scene. So if you type in scene, you'll get the scenery elements, they just show up. If you want to replace a head, you'll type in head and all the heads show up. If you want to change the jacket, you'll type body. And these are all the available bodies. And then these are called bottom. So we'll just type in bottom and this will give us our options. And some of these are running, some of them are standing. And there are also some that are posed as sitting so that you could place this person, for example, in a wheelchair or sitting on something. So let's go and get an alternative bottom. And I found one, yes, this set of legs I kind of like. Click on it, it appears up here in the top of the window. Then you'll want to scale it. And I use the existing body to just sort of work out what the scale needs to be. And then once you've got that, you can delete the existing body and or bottom, because these are called bottoms, and just put the other one in its place. And of course, you want to make sure that the layering is kept consistent. And you can change heads out. So let's just go and change a head. We'll go looking for the head option and we can choose an alternate head. So let's click on this one. Obviously, it's a bit on the big side, although I would like the head to be a little bit bigger than it was previously, but you can adjust, adjust it to suit. Now, there are some limitations to this particular application. It's not actually the way that these humans were designed to work. There is actually an application where you can use it inside Sketch and you can also use it inside InVision Studio. But because InVision Studio is a Mac only application right now and because the Sketch application costs money, somebody built this to give people uh, access to these tools. But there are some limitations. You can't rotate anything and you also can't recolor anything. And you could do that, for example, in the Envision Studio application. If you're looking for shoes, here you'll see that all those shoes are flat. And because they come in as flat objects, you couldn't obviously replace the shoes on this person because you would need a shoe at an angle. And the shoes in this application can't be rotated. But once you get a shape that you like and you're happy with your person, you get a chance to export and you get two options. Save as JPEG, which of course is going to have a white background behind it, or save as ping. And if you're saving it as a ping image, then it's going to be transparent behind. So you could use this person inside another application. Now, if you're working on a Mac, you'll probably want to look at using these humans inside InVision Studio because it's a much better and much more robust sort of application. But if you're on a PC right now, the only option you have is this GitHub option. And it certainly gives you a start to creating these characters. And you could then open them up in Photoshop. And if you wanted your person, for example, to be facing the other way, then you could flip it in Photoshop. Now, once you've saved the image, you can click on it in the status bar here to have a look at it. Here it's in the Windows Photo Viewer application and you can see that it has that transparent background applied to it. 
I hope that you've enjoyed this introduction to humans and to this humans design tool, which has been developed by somebody just to help us all out. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. You might also want to share this because it's actually a super cool sort of application. So feel free to share it and comment. My name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me for this video tutorial. I look forward to seeing you in an upcoming video soon.